says on the back of a book. U University of Vermont or something like that. Theater, th 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 theater, Shakespeare, theater company. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with an unboxing video. I have a total of three packages that I have received from Goodreads giveaways. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first package is from East Brunswick, New Jersey. So oh, this is cute. Aww. The book is Grayling's Song by Karen Cushman and this is a middle grade novel. The book follows Grayling, who is put on a task to stop this grand spell that basically stops everyone from being able to use magic. Including her mother, who is apparently like a big huge magic guru kind of thing. Grayling has to gather all the others who are like witches and wizards and secondary magic makers in her village and they have to go on a quest to find a book of charms and potions in order to stop this spell from going any further and stopping magic altogether and she has a companion in a mouse named Pook and it seems like it would be a cute read. I'm very excited for it. I haven't read middle grade in a while so I feel like it could be a super cute book and I'm excited to read it. The second book that I have is from Kensington Publishing Corporation. The book is Sweet Breath of Memory by Ariella Cohen. I really like that name, Ariella. It's pretty. The book follows Kate Saunders, whose husband John died two years ago in Iraq. Her new job as a caregiver isn't paying well, but she loves where she's living, and even before she's even unpacked her new house, she's pulled into a group of friends. She meets four other women, Gabby, Beatrice, Mary Lou, and Sheila, and she quickly finds out that Amberly, the place that she moved, is built off of a war. Kate ends up meeting a Holocaust survivor who she feels that she connects with very well. When new revelations about John's death start to come forward, she realizes that these four women are going to help her in order to move on from her husband's death. So I'm assuming it's like a war story. I've seen some blog review this and they said it was really good, so we'll see what I think of it when I read it. I don't know when that's going to be, but one day. The final package is from Thomas Allen and Son. In Markham, Ontario, which is like an hour and a bit away from me. Can't open this apparently. It's not going to open. Open! Open! The book is The Taming of the Drew by Stephanie Kate Strom. This book follows Cass, who has finally landed the leading role in The Taming of the Shrew in her summer apprentice program at the Vermont Shakespeare Theatre program. The leading man's name is Drew, and Cass quickly finds out that she doesn't like him very much. He's kind of a jerk. She then finds out that her bunkmate Amy actually has a crush on Drew. Gross. I know. Boys have cooties. She decides that she is going to tame Drew and make him into the man that any girl would want. Aka, she's taming the Drew. Do you get it? It's like taming the shrew, but it's taming the Drew. Haha, <laughs> puns. I think this book is going to be super cute. It's probably going to be a super fast read, so I'm excited to get into it. And I will let you guys know what I think of it when I finally read it. Alright guys, so that was the three packages that I've received off of Goodreads giveaways. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!